Double coronation! Queen Kate and Queen Mary stunned in coordinated colorful looks at royal event. As the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Milton prepares for her role as future Queen of England. Crown Princess Mary is also looking to take the reins of Denmark's monarchy as Queen Margrethe plans to down from royal duties. It's been confirmed that beloved Australian-born Princess Mary of Denmark and her husband, Crown Prince Frederick, will attend King Charles's coronation on May 6. It's unlikely that Queen Margaret of Denmark will attend Charles and Camille's coronation as she is still recovering from her recent back surgery. The two princesses have been queen in trainings for years, and since marrying into their respective royal families, there has been a lot of pressure on both Kate and Mary to behave as future monarchs. The brunette beauties have also mirrored each other's styles and were dubbed the unofficial royal sisters by the late Chanel designer Karl Lagerfeld. Kate Milton recently hinted at what she'll be wearing to King Charles III's coronation next week, recently sharing a tiny detail with ITV host Alison Hammond. The host said she told the Princess of Wales last week, I'm feeling like you're gonna wear blue. The royal apparently confirmed there will be a hint of blue in her coronation outfit. The Princess of Wales will be closer than ever to being crowned queen alongside her future king husband, Prince William. If so, Kate and Willis are destined to become the ruling monarchs of England earlier than we think. The princess is understood to be named Queen Consort when her husband, Prince William, takes to the throne. This is the same royal title bestowed to the Queen Mother when her husband, King George VI, was coronated. While she won't officially be known as Queen of England, it is widely believed the Duchess will be referred to as either Queen Catherine or Queen Kate when the time comes. She once wore the lover's not tiara from the house of Garad, a century-old heirloom which was also the tiara of choice for Princess Diana. What the royal family wear and how they present themselves during royal appearances is crucial for their image, so Kate's headdress of choice could be a subtle hint she's ready to step up. Kate Milton was also awarded more responsibility when she became patron of the Family Action Charity, a post also held by the Queen herself. Princess Kate isn't the only next-generation princess to follow in the Queen's footsteps. Australia's own Crown Princess Mary has been quietly preparing for her future role as Queen of Denmark, alongside her husband, Prince Frederick. In December last year, a Danish palace announcement authorized Mary to take on Queen Margaret's royal duties in her absence. This opportunity has presented a good practice run for Mary who will take on the leading role when her 79-year-old Queen Margaret eventually abdicates. They were sisters once again earlier this year when Kate visited Liverpool with Prince William in January. For the couple's first official engagement after the release of Harry's explosive memoir, Spare, she wore an elegant long light tartan coat from Holland Cooper. The look was highly reminiscent of a bomb and fifth garden black watch check coat worn by Princess Mary in 2019, while on tour in Texas, which at the time was noted for its similarity to tartan outfits previously worn by the Princess of Wales and Meghan Markle. The princess have even worn the same dress to royal engagement, with Kate opting for the same Belula blue collar dress to meet NHS staff in 2020 that Mary wore to Indonesia in 2019. The pair both stunned in another Belula number, with Kate wearing the pink flowing summer dress for Wimbledon in 2021, while Mary wore the cream version for an exhibition opening at Fredericksburg Castle in 2020.